Hello everyone, this is Kathleen Tarani with Autism Brainstorm, www.autismbrainstorm.org. And I asked Debbie Hosseini, who is um, one of the partners who owns The Art of Autism. Debbie Hosseini and Carrie Bowers, um, that's correct Debbie, right? Your, your, your partner's on The Art of Autism. And The Art of Autism is a website, it's a book, um, it's a, an extremely popular Facebook page. Actually, it's a movement is what it is. And I asked Debbie to come on and talk a little bit about um, her website and all of the things that the Art of Autism, the movement, has been doing um, over the past year in 2012. Thank you so much, Debbie, for being here. Thanks for inviting me. You're quite welcome. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up your um, your uh, website. And um, do you want to speak a little bit to how the art of autism came to be? Uh, the book or the website or the movement, however you want to address that. Well, it's an organic process in that my son Kevin is an artist. And he started doing art as... Um, with his therapist from the UCSB Autism Center when he was nine. Mm -hmm. And the therapist um, graduated from RISD and he was not just a behaviorist, he was an artist. So it was natural for him to try to include art in what he was doing with Kevin. And mm -hmm. we did not think that Kevin had um, artistic talent because he used to always scribble and he would um, use like a grip on his crayons, like just the fist grip, mm -hmm. like um, you know, using his fine motor skills very well. Mm -hmm. And um, Colin introduced him to um, first, I think, it was watercolors, and then one week it was acrylic, and the next week it was oil. And Kevin really liked the oil just because it was so, um, it had such um, a visceral response with the the. Um, it was gooey and gloppy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, make really fun things with it. And right. so um, he started wanting to paint in oil paint, which is extremely messy and will get your house so <laughs> messy. Um, right. We let him do that because it was something that he um, really enjoyed. And so from those kind of sessions with that therapist, he, kept, he was um, making his art um, twice a week. And he ended up with a big portfolio of art by the time he was 10. So within a year, he had a lot. And so I was working with an organization called the Rhythmic Arts Project, and they do um, drumming. And mm -hmm. so um, they had a benefit, and the, we had art the benefit. So we put out some of Kevin's paintings, I think, and then somebody asked me if, they, if we wanted to sell it. And so um, I was kind of like, oh, he's only 10, you know. <laughs> We, we sold one of his first painting when he was 10, and it was to a friend who was also an artist of mine. And um, after that, you know, people started requesting his art. They wanted it in their homes or whatever, and we would auction it off at, like, benefits for, um, for autism or um, developmentally disabled benefits, in, and even, like, Boys and Girls Club that is for typical kids as well mm -hmm. as special needs in our um, community. And then from that, um, I was asked to, like, well, other people wanted to sell their art, and they be, they came kind of involved in the Rhythmic Arts Project, their benefits, and we sold um, art through that. And it's just kind of like it grew and grew, and I started contacting more people, and then I um, put on an art exhibit at our local art um, community art center and it was actually outsider art it was not just um, autism it was mm -hmm. sp um, special needs in prison and mental illness and a whole different array of artists for that mm -hmm. well it um, I was working um, at that time I knew Carrie Bowers and uh, we were in a documentary of hers and it was um, a documentary on arts and so um, Carrie had um, partnered Kevin with an artist, J. Dan Gibbs, and they had done a piece, and um, Carrie was working with Karen Simmons of Autism Today, and she mm -hmm. said, well, it would be a great idea to have a new book, and that is where the first book came. It was an artism book. It was the mm -hmm. second artism book, 
And um, from that, the next book came, which was our own book, and we started this whole collaborative, and it kept on growing and growing and growing until, you know, to the point right now where we have a couple, about 250 artists, and we mm -hmm. have a lot of entertainers and poets and musicians, and it's a pretty much a creative hub of, um, of a community that often doesn't find a place um, to show their work or to um, express themselves. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, you mentioned the art of autism, um, and I'm having a little bit of a problem with sharing my screen. Are you seeing your website? I am. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to click on the art of autism, shifting perceptions that you just mentioned. That's your most current book, is that correct? That is. Yes, and this is, this is the beautiful cover of it. And um, I see here that you are the author, and it's edited by your partner, Carrie Bowers. That's correct. And that um, people can find um, a link to purchase this on the website, and I'll take us back there. Yeah, we're offering um, $10 off right now um, with the code HOLIDAY. Oh, wonderful, for the holidays, great. Wonderful. Okay, um, now... I, I'm not sure if I, I heard you say, but the, when Kevin first began his your your art adventure, this was in 2005, correct? That's right. So this has been um, quite a process that you've been going through. That's... I think I think it actually was um, no, it was actually in 2003 that he started doing his art. But oh, we uh -huh. art of autism maybe to have started in 2005, although Carrie has been using that name. Um, in her art classes and in different ways for a while, so I think since the late 1990s. Okay, okay, very good. Um, let's take a look at your most current um, blog page on the website, which is Looking Forward, Looking Back, um, Accomplishments and Goals, and um, I hope I get that to come up. Come up. There we go. And this is basically what you have accomplished over just the past year. And I'm just going to briefly read through this. Um, you acquired a trademark for the art of autism. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, of course, the, the newest book, The Art of Autism, Shifting Perceptions, was launched. Um, let's see. The Art of Autism website. You increased from, I think that is to read from 1.8 million to 3 million. Is that correct? It was from 18 million. That's what I thought. It was eight, We were in a rank of 18 million and we went from 18 million to 3 million in about the last nine months. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Um, can you explain a little bit about that ranking and what that means? Well, it just means that we're getting more hits on our website and um, um, more visits, and we've we've I've worked really hard on the website, on the mm -hmm. uh, SEO and the um, optimization of it, and um, getting the word out there about the website. Mm -hmm. We have um, quite a lot of work to do on our website. It's not we don't have a membership on it yet, and that's one of our um, plans in the future, probably for the coming year. You're in 17 countries. Um, that are represented in the collaborative. Now, by 17 countries, do you mean that you have artists in 17 countries? We have artists that participate um, mm -hmm. on our website or in, actually in our exhibits from 17 different um, countries. Wow, Some that's of amazing. That work from different countries. And, mm -hmm. like, you know, Frank Allen, who participates a lot on the Autism Brainstorm, we have his work up here in Carpinteria, my local community. Yes, yes. And he's actually in. Um, this article in the VC Reporter yes. about the spectrum. Let me click on that. So, And you're seeing this on the main screen, right? Yeah, I am. Good. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm, I'm hoping this is recording properly. It should be. It should be. Um, Carrie Bowers attended both the United Nations World Autism Day event in, um, in New York City and the Carton Foundation Strokes of Genius events, and she wrote a successful blog for the Art of Autism website with close to 250 likes about Strokes of Genius. Wow, that's amazing. That is. Yeah. That was a successful blog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you introduced guest bloggers on the Art of Autism website. 
um, including Jackie Marquette. Um, and that's going to be a regular feature. Oh, how nice. That's wonderful. Now, are you going to have um, other regular blogs by artists? Or are you going to have them participate as bloggers on the website? Um, yes, we're, we are talking to some right now. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, you created promotional material to hand out at conferences. Let me click on that and pull that up. Here's the Art of Art Autism brochure. Oh, that's beautiful. That's uh -huh. on the front side and there's a um, back side to it. It's actually a trifold. Okay, let me see if I can... The back? Okay. There we go. Is there anything in particular you wanted to share about what we're seeing here? Well, um, it's we are we based it on different themes. Like mm -hmm. um, half a, on the left hand upper, that is Danny Bowman and Kai and um, Eileen. Um, yeah, these are this was Eileen's first time um, participating in an event, and that was in Ventura. And Eileen sold. Um, two of her works that she presented for the first time and so that was kind of exciting and oh, that is exciting uh -huh. and um, up on the right hand well in the middle that's Frank Allen who is one of our participants and you know he was at Times Square with that piece right this one right here yes and on the right that's Joanne Laura uh -huh. autism amusement therapy and that was in 2011 in our Hollywood show those okay. were participants in that mm -hmm. and um, going to the next, um, next whatever you call it, not column, okay. but row. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I moved. Okay, let me go yes. back. We have Grant Monnier from Houston, and mm -hmm. um, actually gave some gave a check, and so this is kind of called um, giving back, or I think that's what it's called, giving back after mm -hmm. reading this, or mm -hmm. contributing is what that is. Um, right. Down below him uh -huh. is um, Shane McCaskill, and he um, got up and spoke at our Ventura, um, our Ventura art exhibit. We always have a component usually where the artist can share what they're working on, and he's um, working with Exceptional Minds, which uh -huh. is an incredible organization. He was sharing some of his um, storyboarding right there. Oh, great. And, um, we have Joel Anderson and uh, Maximus Soberto in the middle right there, and Joel mm -hmm. is doing live art in my home community in Carpinteria at an event. And this is an exhibit next to it at the Berkshires that we had. It's a really nice gallery. It's the Good Purpose Gallery, and that's um, Michael McMahon, and a lot of people know who he is from the college internship program. Mm -hmm. He has a wonderful gallery in Lee, Massachusetts that we were at. And on the right, that's um, that's... Christine Guzman's son, Nick. I mean, <laughs> we're back on a different page, but um, we have a musical component um, often in our shows, and um, Nick came from um, up Northern California to participate in that. That was the Hollywood show we did in 2011. Okay, very good. Now let's, let me see, there's a, oh, I lost a tab. There we go. Mm -hmm third page I believe of the document okay oh this is basically the mission statement that's our mission well that's yeah mission document that's what um, we hand out maybe to people that don't know about our project mm -hmm. it's, like, really it's more in depth than that little brochure it's um, right. exactly what what our project is about okay and very good very good so people can um, click on that to, to get some more information uh -huh. um, let me go back. Those are downloadable, actually, documents that um, are used for people that are really interested in our project that, mm -hmm. um, you know, want to present it. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, lots and lots of things that have been happening. You've had um, lots of exhibits. Ex oh, these are the exhibits that are planned for 2013. Um, actually, why don't we go through the slideshow first of this year and then come back and talk a little bit about what you have scheduled to happen. Okay. I'm pulling up the slideshow. Now, I'm a little concerned about this, my not seeing this. I'm going to shut the screen share for just a moment, Debbie, and reopen it just to make sure that uh, this is getting recorded. Okay. Even though you're seeing it, I want to I make sure that it's being recorded.
okay, now I'm, I'm definitely seeing it. So good. Okay. Hopefully everything else was being shown as well. Okay, I'm going to um, back up the slideshow. I'm going to go to the fir first slide. There you go. This was at our Ventura, um, our Ventura exhibit, and we mm -hmm. had uh, some of the participants, and um, they were happy to be there. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> what a good time! There's Danny on the left. Yes. Um, Andrew Mendoza and Brent Anderson and. Uh -huh and Kai. Right. Now this is, we were in um, Austin, um, I think it was in October, it's good, time goes by so fast, and that's yes. uh, Hito Mukabadai and his mom Soma. These are kind of mixed up. This is the Ventura Art Exhibit. It was a big exhibit. We had over a thousand people at that exhibit. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was huge. Oh, that's Robert Thornton of Paper Clouds. Um, he's partnering with us in um, 2013, and we're going to have um, a T-shirt that has artwork from the Art of Autism. Is there a way for me to pause this, Deb? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it either advances it or... Yeah, I, I think it is. Just yeah. it goes on. Well, that was Lyndon Brent Anderson. This is mm -hmm. Kyle. I, um, Vera Lig, one of our artists who, um, one of our younger artists actually, who participates in our project. Mm -hmm. And that's um, Maximus Alberto again and um, Joel Anderson. That was on our brochure. Right. Oh, I uh, know these folks. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's Carrie and um, Stephen Shore. And mm -hmm. um, Carrie um, does a lot with Stephen Shore, and she's, mm -hmm. in, she's in New York. Um, this was back in um, Austin again, and that's Seth, Seth Quast and his mom, Deborah, who have written a book. And on the other side is um, Julie Coy and Linda Anderson and Grant, the oh. artist. And here we are back in Carpinteria. These are kind of mixed up, but we have Joel and his mom, Sandy, and um, Carrie and Linda. Uh-huh. And these are, um, this is in Pasadena with um, Kelly Green, and um, Kelly Green put a, um, an event up at, on Roman's bookstore. It's a really cool bookstore. There yeah. she is, right in the center, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. She's these very, very busy. Oh, okay, great. All autism moms right there. <laughs> oh, and what a great picture. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was his first check. See, he was receiving his first <laughs> check. He's showing that. Or I'm um, selling his art, right. art, actually. And this is Kurt, and this was at um, an event that Kelly had in my hometown. It was a chalk, and Kurt's my boyfriend. He was um, uh -huh. helping a little girl with the chalk. Right. This is Heron B Arts. We hope to partner with them in 2013 for an art exhibit. Um, mm -hmm. They do um, artwork with people in Kenya, autistic people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's cut off, but that's somebody we met in Phoenix. It's this um, <laughs> maker named Matt, and he does artwork, and it was his mom. Okay. I need to like, correct some of this artwork. It uh -huh. looks like these pictures. And I think we've come full circle. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, so now, what are you working on at, at the moment? Are you working on this um, next exhibit that's in February? Um, I am, well, that one in, in February, let me see, what does that say? Oh, that one is with Paper Clouds. That was um, Robert Thornton that you saw that has a t-shirt company. Mm -hmm. And um, we, he, we have two artists that they've picked to do t-shirts, one for um, a female and one for a male. And that is artists from our collaborative. And the majority of the proceeds... 50 will go to the artists themselves, and we get um, like 10% the art of autism for them. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, after that, you have um, the last two weeks of March in Hollywood. Um, yes, that's going to be a music related theme. Of uh -huh. our, we'll have, um, we're going to be at Mr. Music Head in Hollywood for two weeks. And um, we've had artists from all over the United States um, that have um, expressed interest in participating in that event. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, the, the next event you have coming up will be in April? 
Yeah, we have four of we have four exhibits in April. One is going to be in Houston at the Museum of Cultural Arts. Um, mm -hmm. Another is in the Berkshires again. That's with um, Michael McMahon College Internship Program at the Good Purpose Gallery. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center in Nashville. And we also have, I think, um, Morro Bay in California. So um, we're just com we're confirming that California one. They want to have an exhibit, but I don't know if we're going to be stretched a little thin or not. So we're working on that right now. OK. OK. And um, after April, in May, you have the Curious Cup. Yes, that's one of our biggest supporters. They're here locally in my own community. They're a bookstore, but we always have art exhibits, and that's the one that we hope to partner with um, Harem B Arts, um, with the Kenyan artists. It's, you know, it's always a challenge to have, like, when you're at a, a location, like we're there at the Curious Cup twice a year, mm -hmm. to have do an interesting art. And so um, they're very flexible. They love us. They love the people when we um, have events there. Uh -huh. We just... Um, Last, about two weeks ago, we show, we screened um, Joanne Laura's new movie, Generation A, um, Profiles of Art and Autism at that um, location, and we had such good response. So it's just a, a really a great thing to have such a supportive partner in our own community. Oh, great, great. Um, and that, okay, now... That's the last one scheduled for the year. Now, are you open to do to, to more exhibits? How do how do people contact you? How basically, how do these events come to you? Um, they usually contact me through the Art of Autism at mm -hmm. gmail.com, or um, they are we we get our base, we get a lot of our referrals from word of mouth. Okay. So, like, if somebody comes to an event, like when we did our Ventura event, I had a couple. Um, other venues that expressed interest in doing mm -hmm. um, events with us because it was such a successful, highly profiled event. So it's just mm -hmm. a word, word of mouth. Word of mouth. Let me ask you this. Are you open to, to traveling and, and presenting at various autism conferences? And well, I presented in Austin at the Texas Autism Conference mm -hmm. um, last month. And yeah, that, uh, I presented at universities and um, to art associations in the last year, and I, we're very open to that, both Carrie and I, because Excellent. that's usually something that we could gain an income from, because the project itself does not generate a lot of income. No, really, no, um, no. Getting a fiscal sponsor, which mm -hmm. um, it's a nonprofit that wants to umbrella us, and we're working on that right now, and we hope through that fiscal sponsor that we, you know, the don donations will be tax deductible and that will um, give people an incentive to, um, mm -hmm. to support what we're doing. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, so I would mention to anyone who is watching who knows of conferences, um, particularly when they're in the planning stages, they, they might want to seriously consider having you and Carrie come as presenters and discuss what's happening in the world of autism globally because you have such a large global coalition. Yeah, we do. And um, mm -hmm. we actually have partnered with um, different people. I partnered with Deborah Quast and Julie Coy mm -hmm. in, um, in the Austin one. And mm -hmm. they people, when we're at a location, a lot of times we like to bring in somebody that's local that can talk about what's happening with their own personal story. I right. give pretty much a bigger um, viewpoint of what I've kind of learned through doing this process about um, people on the spectrum. And um, mm -hmm. that's why we, my first book was um, Shattering Myths, and the second one is Shifting Perceptions, and I talk about that. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm sure it's an extremely interesting presentation. So I want to highly encourage people who have access to those who are in the planning stages on conferences to, to send you an email and um, do a little bit of, of exploration about how you might be able to um, find some synergy in what you're doing and what their conferences are centering on. Um, okay. I just say one thing, Carrie um, has some great, um, she does transitions. Yes. For part of our process, it's such mm -hmm. an important thing for parents to know. She mm -hmm. does transition programming and she does um, art. Mm -hmm. She. Um, actually works with a lot of kids with art, um, on the spectrum in the art, and she also does things with siblings. 
She right. has a very good siblings workshop that she's um, putting on right now. Excellent. I think it probably would be a really good idea to have you both come on again and talk maybe a little bit to the types of, of projects that, that she is working on right now because I know she has an awful lot. Yes. Um, particularly that have to do with social um, interaction and, and social awareness and all types of programs that, that you just mentioned. Um, mm -hmm. Um, with, with transitioning. Transition is going to be huge in the next few years as, as, as we're unfortunately aware the numbers have just skyrocketed for whatever reason and um, we're going to really need to, to be doing some strategic planning about how to transition these guys um, who um, have a variety of, of strengths and challenges. So, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? I just said absolutely. I agree. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're we're going to have to figure things out really, really fast. Mm -hmm. um, is there anywhere on the website that you would like to take us right now that we haven't really gone to? Well, if you click up um, up at the corner at the Art of Autism as a Movement, mm -hmm. or go back to the home yes page. Mm -hmm. I just want to point out maybe a couple things. Um, sure. It's going to rotate right now. There's going to be the second blog. If you want to, this is a, a blog about Seth um, Boss. You have to go over to and where it says "Famous makes me makes people happy." Yes, mm -hmm. um, this is from Deborah Quast's book, which I would highly recommend. We're doing mm -hmm. book reviews now too on the um, great. On the, and this is a, like a little excerpt from her book. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Deborah has had an amazing journey, and um, she's written a book called um, "What Is It Called?" It's called um, uh, "An Unexpected Life." That's what it's called, an unexpected yes. life. Mm -hmm. And it's just a wonderful, beautiful work um, book. It's um, full of artwork of Seth, her son, mm -hmm. and it talks about really her spiritual journey as well as her her um, journey with her family and her divorce mm -hmm. and a lot of different things. I think it was just a, an amazing book. And I read that book last year and I really recommend it. Okay. Now I think if I click on this that we could actually watch this video. Is this a very short clip? Um, yeah, I think it's a few minutes. Uh, it's a really nice quick, uh, if you want to watch it for a couple minutes. Okay. Uh, just get a, get a sense of it. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It was on the Today Show, I think. It's four minutes. Okay. No, I don't think the sound's coming on. That's, You're not hearing that? I'm not hearing it. Are you? Yes. So, okay. So our viewers, they can go there at their leisure and, um, and watch that. I'm sure that's definitely worth taking a look at. Um, is there somewhere else that you wanted us to go, Deb? Um, well, you could go to home, click on home. Mm-hmm. And if you go down, um, you have to leave it up. Go to home. If you go about, uh -huh. right there, click on about now. And if you go about the autism shift, um, yes. one, that's kind of what our project, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but this mm -hmm. is what our project, a lot of it is about. It's kind of a philosophy that we mm -hmm. have about autism and about mm -hmm. our journey on, you know, with autism and mm -hmm. about um, really experiencing the now of autism and not being caught up in the fear or the mm -hmm. um, perceptions that other people may have. Right. And it is something about um, how our own philosophy often influences how we relate to um, our ch all our children, not just our children with autism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like, there's a, a paragraph here that has just really jumped out at me and I'd like to read it if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Through intentional collaborative efforts, we will vision for and support others at the same time we promote our individual goals to create sustainable programs, services, products, and possibilities on the world stage. Each member will contribute their time, their talent, and ideas to the collective as the collective gives back to the individual members. That's absolutely beautiful, Debbie. And I think that there are a lot of folks in the autism community right now who are in that same space. And oh, we all really, really, really want to stop um, any type of divisive conversation. Um, there are as many perspectives as there are people. Oh, but we, 
we all want the same thing and that basically is to improve quality of life for everyone and to celebrate everyone's abilities and what they bring to the the larger conversation I think we're ready for that I really really do oh, I think we're, we're setting the stage for that to happen I'm mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. and that's, that, is, that is what our that's a higher purpose of our project a lot of times you look at the um, just oh what are you doing and but mm -hmm. this is the whole goal of what we're doing right right and, and it is absolutely beautiful and it has definitely caught the imagination of an awful lot of people um, I want to jump over real quickly to your um, Facebook page let's go do that and see what your latest posting is over here. We have um, Steve Selpal's, um, <laughs> um, one of his pictures on our image uh -huh. on our page and um, curiously enough we have this um, artist right there below that has the, the cat and two people, two kids in the bathtub. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was an um, art that was just emailed to me today from um, a Japanese artist who is only nine years old. Oh, isn't that precious? His mom sent that. <laughs> so that's it's kind of fun to see the commonality because um, one of the things that that the art of autism believes that with autism there's no borders and with art there's no borders and yes. so um, I can at one time maybe post a Lebanese artist and then mm -hmm. the next day post somebody from Israel or from you know other countries yes. art has no boundaries and autism doesn't either, and it's something that we could um, connect, you know, these are connecting um, pieces that mm -hmm. connect as um, human beings. Right. Now that's a very interesting piece below. Um, Angela now, Weddle, Storms Over San Antonio. Yes, and Angela, I hope, I haven't talked to her yet, but I hope she'll be part of our Houston um, exhibit because she is in San Antonio and uh -huh. she's kind of new to our collaborative and she sent me four pieces and that was just like an amazing one. Now right. the one on the right is um, um, Christian Early and that's really, I have the wrong title there, but it's Exceptional Minds uh -huh. and I really like that one. His mom just sent that to me a couple days ago and I thought it's such a funny, Christian Early's in Florida uh -huh. And um, he does amazing um, kind of drawings that look kind of animated like that with a lot of color. He's also an illustrator. Ah, okay. And then and that's one of our goals of our project is we um, we want to see our people employed and um, you know for what they're doing, illustration or you know graphic design or whatever they're doing that they get compensated in some way for. For their efforts, yes. And so mm -hmm. it's very important to us, and we've been partnering with a couple organizations. Um, one is Squag, um, which is an interactive site, and they're mm -hmm. actually paying people for freelance work and for their art. And Wonderful. so that's something that goes out. That was something I probably should have said about our um, website: is we have a newsletter of opportunities that go out, mm -hmm. and um, we presented that to our um, our. The recipients of our newsletter a couple weeks ago. Okay, let me exciting. let me go back to the website for just a moment. I would like to point out you have almost four thousand likes on your page. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, head back to the website. Where can people sign up for the newsletter, Deb? Um, if you go to contact over there at the right, very right. Mm -hmm. And oh, let me see. What does it say? Um, yeah, if you just click contact, I think we have a. It says join and receive a sample chapter, but um, that's something new I just put up, and I really need to work with it. I hope that it's working. That's an Auber email, but they okay. also just email me at theartofautism at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. So this website's kind of like a work in progress, and I hope things are all working. Well, you have an awful lot of interest. We haven't even gone to the artist gallery. I just want to um, hover over that and you have a whole section of abstractions, of animation, architecture, um, you have wildlife, birds and butterflies, horses and zebra, humor, inspiration, landscapes, ocean life, all of these categories. Well, um, I have 
categories, not by artists, because we have like, you know, a couple hundred artists and I had mm -hmm. to find an easy way to group some of this art, but um, mm -hmm. it's, it's maybe somebody has a better idea and they can email me. <laughs> I don't know. You have, to, you have an awful lot of content. It's not. It's not easy. It's not easy finding a way to showcase all of this. No, um, it I, is. Yeah. These are poets, and you mm -hmm. know a lot of these poets actually. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure do. Um, Joel Anderson, Neri Avraham. Avraham. Is that uh -huh. correct? Mm -hmm. um, Gerard Beck, Brian Bernard, Nora Blancet, Aaron Clemens, Ben Collier, Isabel Duche. Is that correct? Uh-huh. Okay. Sydney uh -huh. Edmund, Eric Esterbrook. Yes, I know Eric. Kimberly uh -huh. Gary Tucker, um, Amy Gravino, Annie Hussey, Husey, mm -hmm. Marie, Maria and Athena Iliou. Uh -huh. Yes, I do know them. Amanda Lamon, Lamonian. Lamonian, uh-huh. Nicole Nicholson, Robin Ray, Christopher Robbins, Ashley Smith, J.A. Tan, and Donna Williams um, host an event. I think we talked about this a little bit, didn't we? So if people would like to, um, oh, host an event. Is yes, it not? if people would like, like if the organization would like to sponsor of an event, um, mm -hmm. and this is um, what the event can bring to their community. And we have all different levels of events that we could bring. I mean, from an art exhibit to a full mm -hmm. on show. Wow. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So much um, wonderful information. Um, I know that you um, have a tight schedule. Thank you so much for your time, Debbie. Is there anything else that you'd like to add before we go? Um, just that if anyone is an artist or a poet or has something special they would like to share, they can email me at theartofautism at gmail.com. Excellent. Thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate your time. Thank you for sharing about this awesome project, um, The Art of Autism, and it is a movement. Um, thank you um, for us at autismbrainstorm.org for watching this segment, and we will see you next time. Thank you.